Good morning. Good morning. Guess what time it is? It is time to go on a scavenger hunt. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I forgot my prop. So it's time to go scavenger hunting. And this week we actually first I'm wondering did anybody hunt last week for those ever after high dolls? That was week one. Uh, if you did, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear if you were successful, if you actually were looking in the Barbies and all that kind of stuff where normally you would have walked by. So uh, actually, I went, to a, um, I went to a thrift store yesterday and I walked by a bunch of Barbies and I was like sorting. I was so hoping I was going to find one so I could say, look what I found this week. But I didn't. I came up empty handed. Uh, so I wanted to show you what we're going to look for this week. So it is hot here. Hot, hot, hot. And most people will be bypassing these at garage sales and at thrift stores. So it's up to you to stop and look for them. So let's have me share my screen. Show you what we're hunting for. Let's see. Share. Get over here. There we go. So we are going to be hunting for blankets, specifically throw blankets, throw size blankets. So in this case, I have a Super Mario blanket that somebody was, um, so you'll see like they put the word fabric in it because a lot of times people will buy these so they can use them for craft projects. So they don't use it just for the blanket. Same with sheets and that kind of stuff. People will buy vintage ones so they can make things out of them. In this case, who knows what they did with it, but it is a Super Mario blanket, a vintage one. Oh, my computer's slow. It's not letting me change the screen. Why are you not cooperating, computer? Well, I'm not going to be able to zoom in on this one, but it sold for $149.99 plus shipping for a blanket. So keep your eye out for Mario. Next up, we have a couple of them. So there's this one, which it says it's light green, even though it's kind of looks like yellow. But then there's this one too. It looks like the same seller since it's hung up the same. But these are 100% cashmere blankets. These happen to be from the Banana Republic. All of the blankets I'm going to show you today are all pre-owned, right? So this one was pre-owned and this one was pre-owned. This one went for 110 plus shipping and this one for 155 plus shipping so check them i don't so let's see oh there is a tag on some of these blankets so look for the tag if it looks like it's banana republic if you don't know your fabrics this one says cashmere so look for those and see if uh, if they have them at your garage sale again people it's so hot around the country right now even up here in the northeast we are in a heat wave. It's been in the 90s for so long that people are just going to be bypassing blankets like normal people, non-resellers. They're not going to be looking at blankets. It's too hot. Um, so this one is a Disney Club 33. This one was navy blue. Uh, it says woolen mill. So it's made by the Farabolt Woolen Mills Company. Uh, so anything Disney, of course, this is made in the USA, so that's always good. I'm assuming Disney Club 33. I have no idea what that means, but it's something to do with Disney. But I would bet that even this, um, well, anything that comes made in the USA that's made from like a woolen mill company does really, really well. So keep an eye out for even just woolen mill. I'm trying to think of there's a woolen mill company in Vermont, in Johnson, Vermont. Oh, Johnson Woolen Mills. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of what it was called <laughs> that they do uh, a lot of wool stuff, wool clothing, and they do very, very well. Uh, so keep an eye out for that one. The next two I have here are Pendleton. Of course, we all know Pendleton does really well with, if you see any Pendleton sweaters on um, jackets, that kind of stuff. And uh, this one, they spelt the word woolen wrong. So who knows? They may have even gotten more than 177. They put this one up on auction. Uh, this is a throw blan blanket. I don't even think it matters what the design is. I think just that it's a Pendleton Woolen Mills throw is what brought this type of um, of price. So you can see this one was actually reversible. 
So, uh, oh, Gallup Intertribal. Oh, so this one may have brought a higher one because it was a 75th anniversary of, of this thing. But then you look at this one. Here's just a Pendleton throw that's, you know, I don't think this one has any special stuff to it. It looks like it's just a Pendleton one, but again, made in the USA. I think that helps bring the value of uh, this one. I mean, it doesn't look like it's in amazing condition. I mean, look at the picture. Look at that picture. Like what is in this photo? A Nikea bag. I don't know what that other stuff is. What garbage? Looks like a dog toy. <laughs> that is crazy. And it went and sold for $200. But Pendleton. So keep an eye out for wool blankets. And I think any wool wool blankets do very, very well. This one, a, a vintage Western throw blanket. This one went for, so the price is now a little lower. But still, how much would you pay for this at a garage sale? Most likely this type of one with the fringes around it. Like, I see these at garage sales all the time and they're like a dollar, right? I, I think I even, I don't have this, oh, it keeps going away. I don't have this specific design, but I know I've seen them with cats and stuff like that. I'm sure the Western design helped with this one, but again, this one sold for $35 plus shipping. Very good ROI, your rate on your investment. If you're only spending a dollar for them, even, even if you spent $5 at a garage sale. And then this is a wool rich blanket. So again, just a, a wool one, but just happens to be wool rich. Um, so any of those name brand wool things usually do really well. This one sold for $25 plus shipping. Again, just a plain old blanket, nothing fancy about it. But it sold for, I think, again, a good price. And I probably would only pay a dollar or two at a garage sale. And then this one, I probably would have passed this one. This one didn't have shipping included. I mean, it, shipping is included, so shipping was free. Uh, but this one is just this garden seeds. Looks like garden seeds on it. Like, I don't know if it's the, the, the print that brings the value or if it's just it's a vintage, it's a tapestry. You know, some people, like my daughter loves tapestries. Um, when she was in college, she had them all over her college dorm. And then when she got her first apartment, she had them in her apartment. But this one is 100% cotton. And uh, Goodwin Weavers is the brand name, it looks like, but made in the USA. Again, I think that helps. And it does say Alabama. Oh, down here. Uh, way down there. Fairview, Alabama. Let me hide that. And then over here is uh, a Victoria's Secret pink stadium blanket like i would have not have thought that a stadium blanket would have got 105 dollars and it was pre-owned plus shipping right that is that is crazy just for a victoria's secret blanket hmm, nothing fancy looks like it's in really good condition though it looks like it still even has the crease marks from it being probably being folded in a package just looks good good condition and then disney king disney king disney the lion king uh this one to throw um i'm assuming it's probably a vintage i think it says vintage it does say vintage in the title so it's probably the original one from 94 Is that when it came out i think so it looks like it's in great condition but I mean, it looks like doesn't look like a very big one. Probably made for a kid, a kid throw blanket. But hundred and twenty three dollars. What? That is crazy. Definitely those old vintage Disney movies, or probably not even all even Disney. Like if you were to find like an original Toy Story one, I bet you that would do good. And then of course we have musicians. Here's a Britney Spears. I didn't even realize that was her when I first saw it until I read the title. It does say 2000 Britney Brands. So that is not bad. $125. What? That is crazy money. I, I can see like I got rid of my daughter. She had so many Jonas Brother things that I got rid of all of that as she grew older and moved out and stuff. And she didn't want it. And I just got rid of it before I was really 
really seriously into eBay, even though I've been selling on eBay for a while, I didn't really do it full time till about four years ago. And the things I got rid of, I don't, I don't know how much a Jonas brother throw would go today, but who would have thought Brittany. So this is just the, the search I did. I put in, hold on, let me tell you what I put in for a search. I just put in throw blanket and then I clicked on sold and I clicked on pre-owned. I'm just going to go back down here to about where I was. And I was just going down and looking and seeing, and I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit like here's this one. It's a vintage one with horses. Um, it does say West Germany on it. So of course, anytime you see anything that was made in West Germany, that was back when they had the Germany, the wall was up. So those are always good. Happy tree friends. I don't even know who they are. But look at this blanket. It went for $99 on auction. There's a Beatles one. So, of course, this was a best offer. So, I don't know how much they actually got. But, yeah. I mean, take just sit and kind of go through these when you have time. And you'd be surprised by how much. Now, I really was looking for a specific blanket. And, oh, look at that. Here's a Pokemon one for 90 bucks. You know, I bought a Pokemon one a couple years ago and sold it on, on eBay. I don't, I didn't get that much for it though. And here's a Mickey Mouse. So there's a blanket, and I think they have a lot of time it has horses on it, and I can't remember what the brand name is. But that's really what I wanted to show you today. But I couldn't remember what it was called, and I was hoping I was going to find it through this, but I didn't. So if I find it, I'll, I'll leave a message down in the in the description. Um, so look at that street fighter. Ah, another, another Victoria's secret one. Let's see. Oh, Scooby-Doo. Wow. So there, I mean, there are quite a few, let me see how many total there were. Sorry for scrolling up quickly. So 2,148 under throw blanket. And, you know, some people may not even put throw. They might just put blanket, whatever. So, you know, there could be even more than that. But I just, I wanted to show you what what's out there so you guys can go hunting for your blankets and see if you um, find any. So let me know. Let me know on Monday. Come to my lunch break Monday at noon or leave a comment down in this comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the thumbs up. And uh, let me know if you find any of these blankets. And if you sell them, come back and let me know how much you sold them for. That would be exciting. Alrighty. Thanks a lot, you guys, for watching. And I will see you next week with another item to hunt for. See ya. Bye.